Transition Table is a must-have plugin if you're using OBS for your professional remote presentations on Zoom or Teams. This plugin allows you to choose whatever transition you want when transitioning to or away from a scene. For example, you'll be able to fade from scene 1 to scene 2, animate objects with move transition from scene 2 to scene 3, and cut when you go back to scene 1 whatever scene you're transitioning from. Hi, my name is Enrico. I'm a trainer, facilitator, and creative engineer, and my mission is to help you become a remote working hero by adopting the technology that works best for you. So how is it different from what you can do with OBS without this plugin? Let's start from a clean OBS session. I'll start by creating a scene where I want to include my full camera. I'll then create a second scene that I call Intro Overlay, that is the scene that I want to use when I open the Zoom meeting before the scheduled start time of the meeting to let people know that I'm there but the meeting has not started yet. And now I'll make the scene for when the meeting starts. After welcoming the participants, I want to create a scene where I'll share the agenda. The last scene is a coffee break scene. By the way, if you want to learn how to do all these things, you'll find the links to my videos in the description below. In the Scene Transitions panel, you can choose the transition that will apply by default to all scenes. For example, a cut transition or a move transition. So every time you switch from one scene to another one, this will happen with a move transition. If you now want to adapt the way you're transitioning into a specific scene, you can go to the scene, right-click and select Override Transition. Let's choose, for example, Cut. Now there will be a move transition going from any slide to any slide, except for when you switch from any slide into the scene where you have applied the Override Transition option, which in this case will have a cut transition. This already provides you some flexibility, but if you want to have the full control, that's where you have to install the Transition Table plugin. So Google it, download it, and install it simply as any other plugin. Something to be aware of is that now that you have installed the Transition Table plugin, the Overwrite Transition function will not work anymore. Or better said, you will not be able to overwrite the transition by right-clicking on the scene as we did before. But the process will have to happen through the Transition Table plugin. Let's now see how the Transition Table plugin works. Click on Tools and then Transition Table. If you don't see it appearing, you may have to restart OBS. You'll find two tabs, one where you select the From scene and the other one where you select the scene you want to go to. As you can see, the table is displayed in a very clean and easy way. The first scene change during my presentation will be from the intro overlay to the welcome scene. And let's select Fade. I'll leave the transition to 500 milliseconds for now. Once you're happy with the parameters, don't forget to click on Set, because if you don't do it, then the transition won't be saved. Let's now close it and verify that it works. So from intro overlay to welcome, we have a fade transition of 500 milliseconds. Whereas if I go from the welcome to the agenda scene and from the agenda scene to the coffee break one, then the standard move transition will apply. What happens now if we go back to the intro overlay scene? Well, the standard move transition will apply to it because the settings that we have applied in the transition table plugin only refer to the transition from scene intro overlay to scene welcome. That means that the other way around from welcome scene to the intro overlay will stick to the general move transition. I prefer when the fade is a bit longer, so I'll change it to one second. Better now. I now want to set a new transition from the intro overlay scene to the agenda scene. And for this one, I'll choose cut. Don't forget to click on set. And we're ready with this one. If you already know your transition scheme for all the scenes, you don't have to click on close every time, but you can keep this panel open and set all transitions at the same time. If you want to check which transitions you've already set, you can go to the drop down list and select the blank option. All the from scenes for which you have applied a transition will appear here below. If we now select the blank option also in the two tab, then we'll get the complete list of transitions that we've set. If you're liking the video so far, please subscribe to the channel and hit the like button so more people will have the chance to watch it. Thank you. Let's now define another transition for going from the coffee break scene to the full camera scene. And let's choose Move. This is the same transition that applies to the general project as we defined at the beginning in the Scene Transitions panel. However, here we can change the duration compared to the standard one. Click on Set and let's try it. 
as you see the move transition from the welcome scene to the agenda one and from agenda one to coffee break is fast as the standard duration is 300 milliseconds instead the move transition from the coffee break scene to the full camera is much longer as we defined a duration of 750 milliseconds. In the move transition, there are several parameters we can play with. For example, where the items appear from or disappear to. So let's create a second type of move transition and call it curved move. That's because I want item to appear and disappear with a curved movement. To do that, let's play with a curve parameter for both the appearing and disappearing items. Let's select appearing from top left and disappearing from bottom left. Let's increase the curvature even more and I think I'm good. So now the curved move transition has become the standard transition for the project. The one that will apply to any scene that is not overwritten by the transition table plugin. It's a bit fast so let me increase the duration to 750 milliseconds. I'll change the curve value to minus 2. And this is actually the effect that I was expecting. Back to the transition table tab, I'll assign the curved move transition from the coffee break scene to the intro overlay scene and change the default transition to cut. Let's see what we have. From coffee break to intro overlay, the curved move transition. From intro overlay to welcome, the fade transition. And from welcome to agenda, the cut transition as the general standard transition. If you want to delete a transition, or all of them at the same time, just take the corresponding box and then delete. A very nice to use is when you have different items appearing in a scene. For example, you want to animate the bullet points of the agenda. So let's create three additional scenes, one for each of the agenda topics. And let's create a new move from left move transition. For this transition, I want appearing items to appear straight horizontally from the left, and these appearing items disappear horizontally to the left again. Back to the transition table plugin, I want to apply this new transition when I go from any scene to scene agenda item 1 and to scene agenda item 2 as well as agenda item 3. The last tip I want to share with you is about the overwrite priorities. If you have a transition from any scene to a specific scene, for example from any scene to agenda item 1, you can still make exceptions to the any value. So for example, we can say that when we go from full camera to agenda item 1, I want to apply a fade transition. So the instruction any to agenda item 1 and full camera to agenda item 1 are conflicting. The one that gets the priority is the more specific one, that is the one that points a specific scene to the other specific scene. In this case, full camera to agenda item 1. In this tutorial I've used quite a bit the Move Transition plugin. If you want to know more about it, you can watch this next video, where you will learn how to create engaging animations with the Move Transition plugin. Or if you're ready to take your remote presentation skills to the next level, then check my OBS Remote Presentation Hero course, where you will learn and put in practice a framework to create engaging professional presentations with OBS Studio.